Hey guys, TimeBlitz here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a mini-series called Tribe Overview. In this series, I'll be going over each of the different dragon tribes from the Wings of Fire series. Our first episode will be about the Mudwings, just like how the first book was from Clay's perspective. Originally, I was planning on doing all the tribes in one video, but I soon realized there was just too much information to cram into one episode. I've decided to do this series because I love Wings of Fire, and I thought this might be a fun way to get more people interested in the books. I also thought it could be a good resource and starting point for people looking to make OCs. So let's get started. Mudwings are the tanks of the tribes. They're big, muscular, and strong. Mudwings have thick armored scales and are generally colored with brown earthy tones. They can also have hints of amber or gold in their scales. According to the wiki, the graphic novel has also apparently shown green mudwings, and while I haven't read those yet, I figured why not include that fact here. Mudwing eyes have also been described as shades of brown and amber. Their heads are flat, and their nostrils are towards the top of their snout. As for abilities, the most notable one is that mudwings can hold their breath for up to an hour. They often sink below the surface of mud and just chill out there for a bit because mud can speed up healing. Because of their bulky builds, they're generally pretty strong. Mudwings can also bring fire, but only if they're warm enough. If they're too cold, they won't be able to. Their fire also isn't as hot as some of the other tribes. Every few years, a mudwing egg may be laid that's blood red. Dragons hatched from a blood red egg will be much more resistant to fire than regular mudwings. They can still be hurt by it, but not as badly as it would hurt another dragon, and if the wound isn't too bad, it will heal faster than regular as well. Mudwings are a bit peculiar in the fact that the parents generally don't care much about their young. Instead, siblings have a strong bond where they unite under their eldest sibling, called a big wing. They act as units called sibs, forming strong bonds with one another and becoming very loyal. If too many sibs are lost, or a mudwing is an oldly child, they'll search for other small groups and join together in groups called unsibs. These groups may not be as strong as a regular group, as the dragons in it aren't blood-related from the get-go. Once a month, mudwings will gather together for a breeding night, which often results in the mother not even knowing who the father of her eggs is. This usually doesn't matter to her, though, as the parents are so detached from their children they might not even know their names. Mudwings live in marshy, swampy areas in mud houses. They live in the Mud Kingdom under the rule of Queen Moorhead. They strive for function over form, and therefore their homes don't look fancy or seem to have much decoration. Poor mudwings live on the outskirts of the Mud Kingdom, while the richer live close to the palace. Most mudwing names are based around swampy, earthy things or colors, such as clay, crane, reed, umber, crocodile, etc. It's also been implied that at one point in history, the mudwings had a situation where they had no queen. Chameleon stated so as an offhand comment where he said, A kingdom without any heirs is in perpetual danger. I think all the queens learned that from what happened to the Mudwings a couple centuries ago. This is pretty interesting to me, and I hope it comes up again later on so we can learn what actually happened. So far, the Mudwings haven't had any known Animus dragons, though whether they simply don't have any Animus blood or they've been forgotten through time is yet to be discovered. Because of the close sibling bond, no Mudwing queen has ever been challenged by their sisters for the throne. In my eyes, Mudwings are pretty underrated, and I hope we get to learn more about them and that the fandom starts to give them a little bit more love. And there you have it, an overview of the Mudwings. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even got some inspiration from it. Comment down below which tribe you'd like to see next. Time Blitz, out.